and welcome to Dan Cooking, the only show on YouTube where you learn to cook like a Dan. Today we're going to be making Nutella hot chocolate and eggs in a basket. Eggs in a basket is something you may have seen on Viva Vendetta. It's what he's cooking for uh, Natalie Portman when she wakes up in the morning. We are going to be making it nothing like that. It will look not nearly as good, but it will taste twice as good. Just trust me on this. Also, Nutella hot chocolate because it goes with everything. You're going to need some ingredients. First things first, eggs. Uh, preferably cage-free because environmentalism is cool. Bread. Butter, Nutella, and milk. But not especially a lot of milk because you have to go to the store! First, let's clarify something. It's well-established societal fact that cooking is not especially a manly thing to do. And while I don't necessarily agree with that societal fact, I do like to think of cooking as science, masculinity incarnates. So step one, you take your bread. You take, <laughs> you take your, um, you take your bread. So step one, you take, I can't do this with gloves. So step one, you take your bread and you untie the twisty tie. Oh, there we go. And take a slice of bread. Now, if you read traditional instructions, they'll tell you to cut a hole out of the center of the bread right here. Don't do that, that's dumb. They'll tell you that, but that's just so that you can cook it the normal way. We're not cooking it the normal way, we're cooking it the better way. Then you're going to take the butter that you have and spread it along one side of the bread. You're eventually going to put it on both sides of the bread, but it's easier if you just do the one side, then put it down, and then spread it on the other side. So now we've got our three slices of bread. Each one has three slices of butter on both sides. This is very important. And now we're going to turn on the burner. That's not even the right burner, my bad. Uh, we're going to turn the burner on to 7.75. Scientific specificity! After one side has had sufficient time to cook, you can check. Oh, it's starting to brown a little bit. Perfect time. Now you're going to flip each one individually. Boom. And that was probably in time lapse. And then you're going to take each of your eggs, one egg per piece of bread, like so. They're brown because they're natural. You're gonna have to work quickly now. After you've had that go for a minute, this is the crucial moment when you must flip the egg and the bread together. This is sort of difficult. Ready, three, two, one. Oh, perfect. You want the egg to be at the bottom and the bread sort of form a pocket around it. Now let's do that with the other two. Now you might want to take your spatula on top and press down on the egg so that they sort of fuse together. Your yellows should start to run over the edges if you're doing it right. You might want to turn your heat down a little bit. I recommend 4.457. The main thing we're doing now is essentially flipping back and forth on each side, trying to press the egg as far into the bread as possible, also trying to avoid burning any particular side, but we also need to cook out all the white. So when you're on the egg side, press down hard, and if you see white liquid come out, uh, that means you still need to cook more on that side, because you don't want salmonella. While all this is going on, take a regular coffee mug like so, pour a little bit of milk into it, leave some space at the top, don't fill it all the way. This is the part where I just poured my little thing into it. Oops, my bad. Then you are going to take your milk over to the microwave, set it in the center, and cook for one minute. After a minute, take it out. It should be steaming at this point. Next, take a spoon, open your Nutella, put the spoon in the Nutella, and sort of swirl it around until you have a Nutella lollipop. Uh, sometimes science is a little less specific, but you want roughly gob-shaped. Then you're going to take your gob of Nutella, put it in your milk, and then stir it around until it is accurately, adequately, not accurately, adequately dissolved into the milk itself. I like my Nutella hot chocolate weak, so mine looks like this. However, yours might be a little bit darker if you like hot chocolate much more chocolatey. However, note, you cannot just keep putting Nutella in your milk and expect it to keep getting chocolatier. Solubility is not infinite, people. Now you officially have everything you need to start off your own dantastic day. Chaos in North Africa as riots continue. That doesn't have anything to do with me. Where's the sports? I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, so a couple quick announcements. First of all, I finally signed up for both a Twitter and a Daily Booth, so if you use one or both of those two websites, feel free to follow me on those and say hi, and I'll follow you back or whatever. Um, I'm doing this basically in an effort to be more communicative with you guys, because sometimes there's stretches of YouTube where I don't make videos and I can't directly respond to you guys. So um, if you want, there's links in the underbar for those two websites. Another thing, my very good friend, Mr. Ryan Fishburn, has signed up for a YouTube and has started a vlog. Uh, he only has two videos out right now and he's just starting, so he's sort of learning the process with you guys. Um, but he's a very, very funny guy, good friend of mine. Definitely check him out, Mr. Er, Ryan Fishburn. Uh, I think it's youtube.com slash Ryan Fishburn, but it's basically whatever's written over there. Uh, and if you like him, subscribe, show him some love, guys. Um, I think that's it, yes, yes, no. Oh, hey there, how's it going? Okay, for real this time, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.